Have you tried training methods that just didn't work? Do you feel that your pet is not getting his or her nutritional needs met? Are illnesses and bad behavior your daily norm? You're going to want to join me on the Pet Parenting Reset, where you'll hear interesting and informative interviews and get solutions to all your pet problems. I'm your host, Jessica L. Fisher. Wow, I can hardly believe we are already on episode 22, and this is the last episode of 2021. So I started this podcast right after we moved in June or July. I think I started it in maybe July or I don't know. I don't even remember anymore. (laughs) But uh, I wanted to talk to you today, you wonderful, wonderful pet parents, about New Year's resolutions for both you and your pets. And we're not going to have a super long Uh, podcast today because I think I really just want you, I want you to think and put some time into yourself and your pets. And we're getting ready to go into 2022. Now, everyone thought that when 2020 was done, I don't know, like when 2021, we rang in the new year, everybody was like, yes, we're going to leave it all behind. And guess what? We did not. So (laughs) um, I don't know what is going to come of 2022. But what I do know is that it's here. It's right around the corner. And I, when I was talking to y'all back in episode 19, I was talking to you about um, dogs that eat poop. And I told you that most people I talk to, they become interested in getting their dogs healthy their dog gets sick. They want to feed their dog a better diet. They want to seek out new, um, holistic and homeopathic uh, medicine for their pet. And at some point, if they have cats, it may trickle down to their cats. And then at some point, maybe it trickles down to them. I recently saw, I think it's Rachel Fasaro. She's amazing. I love her. She's incredible. She's a content creator and, um, dog mom and foster. (laughs) And she said that health flows down the leash. I think health flows both ways. I think health flows down the leash. And I think health also flows up the leash because like I said, most people I talk to now, Rachel is incredible. She was part of, I'm not sure if she still is anymore. I think she still is the bones and co, which I love their dog food, um, for Kim. And I have recommended it to other dogs, specifically ones that need to lose weight. And she is an incredibly healthy person. Like you can just look at her and see how vitally healthy she is. And I believe her and her husband, um, practice keto diets themselves. Now I am not advocating any sort of diet for anyone. This is, I think there is no one right way to do this. I don't think there's one right way to feed your dog. I don't think there's one right way to feed your cat. I don't think there's one right way to feed yourself. I think um, very much like if you remember from episode 20 when I had Kimberly Gautier on um, feeding the dog in front of you, feeding the cat in front of you, feeding the you in front of you, right? Feeding the person you look at in the mirror. That is so important. And what everything always boils down to with our dogs, with our cats, with ourselves is diet and exercise. And when I say diet, I don't mean go on a diet. I don't believe in that. I think that is BS. I think it is marketing. I think it is, it's just BS. I think eating healthy and nutritional foods, I think Um, not overindulging in carbohydrates and sugars. Look, I'm still working on it. I'm not over here claiming to be Miss Perfect. Um, I just wanted to come talk to you about maybe creating some New Year's resolutions for yourself and for your pets. And the best way to do that, the best thing you can do 
is to be a better version of yourself and to create a better version of your pet. Now, your pet is already perfect. Don't get me wrong. I love them. They are wonderful. I don't care that I've never met them. They are already perfect. But providing an environment for them, providing them with um, the best food you can, providing them with um, nu nutrients and nutrition and not just food to survive, providing them with mental and physical enrichment and getting their exercise in every day is oh so important. This is also true with our cats, which is why I know you've already checked out the pet parent merch. You can go to the petparentingreset.com and click on the merch tab. The first two designs I came out with was play with your dog and play with your cat. So they are some of my favorite, although the pro progress over perfection is also one of my favorites. I came out with that for Cyber Monday. And I think all of these apply. Um, progress over perfection is my motto anymore, <laughs> whether it comes to nutrition or training with your dog or feed what you feed your dog, with, whether it uh, applies to you and your health journey or your exercise journey, progress over perfection always wins. Why? Because if we wait for it to be perfect, there is no such thing as perfect. There is no such thing as perfection. People that strive for perfection, I think, are procrastinators. Are um, and and it, look, this is this is a generalization. Don't come at me. But <laughs> um, you know, people that strive for, for perfection don't appreciate themselves for the individuals they are. And that may or may not be. You may you may know somebody that you're saying that is absolutely not true of them. I just think that appreciate you for you and your individuality and strive to be the best version of you that you can be. And that is also the best gift you can give to your pet. Because if you are not healthy, if you are not happy, if you are not the best version of you, which by the way, is constantly changing because we are constantly evolving and learning new things. That is one of the biggest improvements I have made in myself from say my twenties to my thirties. I, and, and I'm approaching the end of my thirties guys, but, um, I, in my thirties have, I strive to continue to learn because I know that I don't know everything. Right. And, um, I, first of all, how can you strive for, for, for perfection if one, it doesn't exist? And two, we have no idea what perfection is um, because it doesn't exist. I just appreciate you for you and be the best version of yourself and continue to improve that version of yourself, continue to become a better version of yourself. That is going to help your pets so much because the better you become at being you, the more time and energy you can put in to making sure you are providing the best for your pets. Um, yeah, I just, I, that's what I wanted to talk about. I don't love resolutions in general. Uh, it's a good time to reflect and, and set goals. But what's really important about goal setting is that when you tell yourself you're going to do something, you need to follow through. Because if you don't follow through, when you set a goal for yourself, you're telling yourself, you're telling yourself, your brain, that you don't follow through and you're not worth it. And that's not okay. So set really small goals that you can do and achieve so that you can rewire your brain and say, you know what? She does what she says she's going to do, or he's, he does what he says he's going to do, right? Change the way you think about yourself and you see yourself and everything around you can start to change. So no, don't set huge lofty goals, set small attainable goals that can help rewire your brain to where you look at yourself in the mirror and say, she does what she says she's going to do. That is more important than any huge, re don't, don't resolve to lose 30 pounds. Don't do it. Don't resolve to, to build a library and read all the books. Don't resolve. I mean, don't do it guys. Don't resolve to cut out dairy or cut out meat or whatever it is you want to cut out or add in. Don't do it. That is too big. 
those goals are not easily attainable. Start small and rewire your brain to see yourself differently. And then you can incrementally take some baby steps to reach those big lofty goals that you have, because that big goal breaks down into a lot of little goals, right? So start with the little goals. And yes, it is a good time to reflect and say, you know what, I do want to feed my dog a better diet, or I do want to feed my cat a better diet, or I want to join this class um, so that my dog, maybe take your dog to some sporting event that that breed loves or, you know, resolve to spend more time playing with your cat every day. That Those are really, really easy, attainable goals that can make a huge, huge difference in your pet's life. So with that, I, I, you know, this was more motivational than anything, but I think it's a good time. And I don't think any topic is off limits for us pet parents. Like we're, we're humans, right? So what I really would love for you to do is go to the petparentingreset.com and click on Patreon. So join the Patreon family for as little as a dollar a month. And what is going to happen when you join Patreon is you are going to become part of the family and you are going to get exclusive content. You're going to get behind the scenes content. You are going to get first look at content. And this content is all pet parent focused. This content is going to help you become a better pet parent to your pets. This content is going to help you learn more and grow and spark ideas in your mind to go and do and research more and learn more. That is the goal for me to help you be the best pet parent you possibly can be. So that is what I'm going to challenge you to do today. Go to the petparentingreset.com, click on Patreon, join for as little as a dollar a month. And the thing is I created Patreon because engagement on other social media platforms has tanked. I mean, just tanked. And there is no point in me putting out content for you if you're not seeing it, because not only do I want you to read and learn, I want your input. I want to know, do you have a differing opinion? Do you have a differing viewpoint? Maybe you have something important that needs to be added to what I just put out there. I need that back from you. I need to engage with you. And if you join Patreon as part of the family, then I'm going to get to know you and your pet. And I'm going to be able to help you in ways that I couldn't help you otherwise because I don't know specifics about you right now. So I really I really hope to see you over there. It, it helps me to continue to bring content to you. And it, I mean, honestly, it, I feel like it helps you more than anything because I'm providing so much great information to you to spark some ideas in your brain. So with that, let's end 2021 with a bang. Please give your pets, your dog and your cat, some extra love from me today. I will I will see you in 2022. Bye, guys. Oh, oh, oh.